Ra Hogan for the Boxing Voice. I'm delighted to be here with possible future Danish star, yes. Oliver Zaren. I can get you. I, uh, you can be sure of that. Well, no less an authority than Kel Kessler really believes in, yes? So yes. That's enough for me. Um, obviously, six rounds today. Got some working, tricky opponent. Yeah. I know when uh, my colleagues that into boxing, I spoke to you a few months ago in Austria, and yourself and Kessler both said, more interesting you actually learning than necessarily just getting knockouts at this point. Yes, um, right now we're in a learning process. We uh, we take the fights. I like to get it all the rounds. Of course, if you get a stoppage, you get it and you like it. But I wasn't aiming for it when. But I was see when I hit him, he was tumbling a little bit. I didn't go crazy because if I go crazy, I would lose all my power. So I build it up, and if I got it, I would be happy. But I'm happy with the six rounds. Mm -hmm. I'm in my. Uh, I'm in the learning process and uh, this is not the last thing you've seen of me. I'm going to be big and great. Absolutely. You're only 22. So I'm only 22. i got a lot of years in me. Plenty of time. At this point, are you sort of working on particular things on a fight-by-fight -fight basis that your coaches just say look at and they think, well, you know, I need to work on this particular thing or that particular thing and then you go out there and Yes, and yes. Work on that? Every time we f I have a fight, we go, uh, somebody, we find it on the internet, we watch it again, we go over all the mistakes I made, we're doing better, we're doing, uh, then sometimes we're breaking up, I gotta keep my hands up a little bit more. When I get a little bit, not cocky, but you know, when it's all going good, they go down. That's not good because if you get hit by one time, it's out. So the hands up and, um, and uh, get the distance and uh, just shoot them down from round to round. And then, then uh, eventually the knockouts will come. Absolutely. I noticed you were switching quite regularly there. Is that something you actually want to do? A skill that you want to add to your repertoire? Whatever works. I, uh, once I broke my hand, I couldn't fight, then I learned the other side. So I boxed both sides, very good. And sometimes the right side, southpaw works, sometimes orthodox works. So it depends on the opponent. If he's troubling me in the southpaw, I fight southpaw. If he's troubled by orthodox, I fight orthodox. So when you were doing that today, was it each time you are switching? Was it because you thought you might see an opportunity? Yes, I saw. He was losing his left arm when he was in orthodox. Mm -hmm. So I thought if I go in the uh, south core, I can get over. And this, I succeeded with it a couple of times. And down under and up with it. And they succeeded sometimes. So uh, whatever is going to make the fight good, I do. That's impressive because a lot of people just switch stances because it looks fancy. But you're actually doing it for a purpose. I mean, uh, everything I do in the ring is for a purpose. Oh. And s sometimes um, some opponents, it doesn't work out. Then you're gonna switch back, make a, make a new strategy, mm -hmm. and then you're gonna follow that. So, sure. so your last couple of fights, I think they've been built at super middleweight. Is that actually your championship weight, or I mean, I know it's quite a way before you go for titles, but obviously because you're still young, could you still boil down to middleweight? Yes, so, uh, super middleweight. That's the weight I be in. Uh -huh. No trouble at all. I get the weigh in like done easy. Um, only have to lose. Uh, two, three kilos every time. Not that much, I don't struggle. So I have all my power for the next day to fight. So you're not planning on taking more weight off? No, 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 no. I'm good in, I'm good in this division. Um, I take whatever they put at me in this division. They can come and I take it. I love to fight and the more fight I get, the more I learn, the quicker it goes. I want to be the best, so that's the way. Are you now based in Germany? No, 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 I'm based in Copenhagen. Close to Mikkel, so uh, I f I, me, Mikkel and Macam, we uh, we train every day out there at Mikkel's. Okay. And uh, how long do you think it'll be before you say you move up to like 10 rounders? Uh, not long. Uh, probably next fight 8 and 2, 3 and 8 and then 10 and then a good fight. Do you want to be fighting regularly? Yeah, like I hope, every, I hope. Every month? Maybe not every month, but... Um, they're gonna come now. There's been all the Corona epidemic and uh, all that shit, and uh, that's been a sum of a block for boxing. But uh, now I think it's uh, coming. Two, three months fight every time. Mm -hmm. Maybe two months again at a time. I mean, Denmark is such a small country. Produce some good, good talent fighters. Obviously, there's yourself. I throw a few names at you. Around the same weight class, you got Jimco, Banks, Four, Madsen. 
opportunity for some great domestic dust ups? Yes, 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 yes. And uh, all all guys, great fighters, you know. I have sparred a little bit with everyone, and it's going good. Uh, I can say it like that. Yeah. But um, right now, we all all of our fighters, we are not so big uh, at our careers. Maybe we're good, but we're not. We only have six, seven, eight fights, ten fights. Mm -hmm. So when we move up, we got some belts. Then I think we're gonna fight each other. But now it's about to get everybody up, and then let the best man win. It could be an era, like a golden era for Danish boxing. Yes, uh, Danish boxing is gonna rise. Uh, I'm very happy to be at Sauerland. Uh, Vesemann boxing, Vesemann. I'm very happy to be at Vesemann. That's the way for me. Uh, and they're gonna take me to the top, no doubt. Absolutely. I'm gonna be the greatest in, uh, in Denmark. I will be, that's my goal. That's to be the greatest. I want to be world champion, just like my coach was. Yeah, big, uh, big shoes to fill, but you've got the time very, and very, the confidence. Very big shoes to fill. And I don't, uh, somebody's uh, always texting, uh, always writing, he's the new Mickey Kessler, he's the new Kessler. Kessler is a great man. He's, uh, he's achieved so, so, so much. And if I can only get just a little bit close to that, I would be happy. That's uh, He's a very big uh, idol for me when I was little. And now I'm working with him and uh, I'm very proud of that. And I got his uh, physical trainer, Thomas McCong, mm -hmm. very good man. So they kinda, those two are going to bring me to the top. Well, it's going to be a hell of an adventure. We look forward to following it. Yes. So, Oliver, uh, anything you want to add? No, not really. All right, we'll look out for your next fight. And, Thank uh, you. Thanks for being to the boxing boys. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Stay tuned because this is not the last you've seen of me. Yo, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the patreon.com backslash the boxing voice. We have tons of exclusive from Border Wars and title betting shows. The list goes on and on and on. But in addition to that, if you guys have questions for fighters, trainers, and promoters, this is where you can submit them. We will run out get these questions answered, and put it back on the show just for you guys. Appreciate it. Peace.